Hi, and welcome back to another episode of Field Ready. Today, we'll be sitting down with product manager John Florio to discuss the Geo GNS3 receiver. John, thanks so much for joining me on this episode of Field Ready. Super excited to have you. How's it going? Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Good, good. So, I'm excited for today because we're going to be talking about our latest product, the GNS3. Uh, before we get started, if anyone's unfamiliar with the geode, can you give us a little history on the product line? Sure. The geode, it's a full product line of products we've had for a number of years now. We first started with the original geode in 2016. The idea was to create an all-in-one sub-meter GNSS receiver that could work with all of our devices or work with any other device a user might have. The product was real successful. We followed it up a couple years later with the GNS2. The original GNS1 worked with Android and with Windows devices. The GNS2, we added on support for iPhones and iPads. That product's been doing pretty well too. So now we're here to launch the new GNS3. Awesome, and I know there's been a ton of excitement around this product, especially the GNS3. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what users can expect to be the same and different as it relates to the GNS2? Sure, so here's the GNS3. Essentially, it's similar to the GNS2, and it starts out as a sub-meter, all-in-one GNSS receiver. It works with iOS devices, Android devices, Windows devices. Everything's all encompassed, and it's a rugged, rugged product, just like the previous product. Uh, some differences is, mechanically, it's a little bit taller, because we have put a new receiver engine inside the packaging, and we have a new antenna for some new features we've added. It now has a USB Type-C port, so it supports interfacing with all the latest devices that are out on the market today. And the 9-pin serial port is now standard on the product, and we've made it flush with the bottom of the product. Very cool. So we are releasing two different models with the GNS3. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what they are? Sure. We have two models now. We have the GNS3S, which is single frequency, and the GNS3M, which is multi-frequency. That's this product here. And you can tell because it has a label on the bottom that says GNS3M. Very cool. So let's take this one product at a time. Sure. Let's start with let's do that. the GNS3S. Okay. So the GNS3S has all the same features of the GNS2. It can give you a submeter solution by receiving an SPAS signal from satellites, which we have coverage for North America, Europe, Asia. Uh, you can also use it with an NTRIP network, a CORS RTK network, and get what's called a RTK float solution. And in both instances, you'll get a submeter solution, which is about 30 centimeters RMS, which means most of the time. One difference on the GNS3S is we have more battery power. The GNS2 would run for 10 hours. The new GNS3S runs for up to 16 hours. So needed when they're in the field all day. Yes. So in terms of new features and capabilities, the GNS3M is the one that people are really excited about. Can you tell us about that model? Yes, GNS3M is where we add some new features. Of course, we can also use it with SPAS and get the same accuracy. We can use it with an NTRIP network. We'll get a little bit better accuracy with that. In field testing we've done, we've seen between 10 and 15 centimeters under good conditions. And then we also, with the M, support the use of the Atlas L-Band Correction Service. So Atlas is a satellite-based correction service, and it comes in three flavors or accuracy levels. It comes in Atlas Basic, Atlas H30, and Atlas H10. Atlas Basic is 50 centimeters, H30 is 30 centimeters, and H10 is 10 centimeters. Sometimes you'll see this in marketing, it'll say submeter, subfoot, or decimeter, or four inches, the size of the product. So what can end users stand to gain from this scalable accuracy? Okay, with scalable accuracy, that allows you to do different types of work when you need to. For example, one user might buy the GNS3M and they may be satisfied getting a submeter solution if they're doing different types of asset mapping, but they might encounter a job or project they have to work on where they might be doing utility underground locating or they might be mapping water resources and they need a higher degree of accuracy. So they could subscribe for a period of time to the H30 or the H10 subscription service. They can subscribe for a month or three months or a year, depending upon the length of the project. And once the subscription is completed, the receiver will revert back to its previous settings. 
Cool. It really was designed for the end user. So this is awesome. Yes. That brings us into the next thing. You touched on it a little bit, but can you tell me a little bit about what to expect from battery life with the new GNS3? Sure. All of our products here we build are rugged and they're designed for field use. So we expect people to use them all day on the job. And that's more than eight to five in office. That could be sun up to sun down. So like a lot of our handhelds, the geode is designed to run a minimum of, eight, of 10 hours. This geode, uh, the GNS3M, will give you 10 hours operation time with whatever correction service you're using. If you have a GNS3S, because the receiver engine is more efficient, you'll get up to 16 hours of runtime. Cool. And then one thing that's super exciting about the Geo product line that people may not know about is that it's designed and assembled in the United States. So what does that mean for users as far as reliability, serviceability, uh, the service they get with Juniper Systems? It's a good question. We do design and engineer and build the product right here in our building right here. In fact, downstairs is our manufacturing and service and repair center. So if a product needs to be serviced and repaired, it comes back to us and we can work on it. If we need parts, we have parts accessible right from the production line. If a user comes to us with uh, something they've discovered, we can jump right on it and get it fixed. We're, we're very agile and we try to solve problems as quickly as we can. And if someone wants to learn more about this, if someone wants to purchase or just have more information, where can they go? Yes, yeah, so they could reach us on our website at www.junipersist.com or they can call us here in our office during business hours or contact our folks in our European office in the UK. Of course, we also have dealers all over around the world and they can speak with any of them who can help them out. Awesome, well, thanks so much for joining us on this episode of Field Ready and I look forward to next time. Thank you.